Can you give one example of that that can still be turned from the budget? Well, um, yeah, there's a few. I don't see why a lot of the city, like, I don't see why the, they need to pay for a cell phone for so many employees when everybody has a cell phone. I mean, if you eliminate a bunch of those, you could get rid of some stuff. Um, I still think that they've done a good job here in the last year, not the last two years, but in the last year here at the OC, they've done a good job trimming that, but I think there's still some, some more that can be done here. Um, you know, the budget, I've looked at the budget, and it looks like to me that they've done a pretty good job with what they have. They've had to carry over some money from the year before, but I don't see a lot of fat still remaining. I think it's just tweaking what's there and trying to, to get the income up. Okay, thank you. Brad, same question. Well, as, as someone who's studied and poured over the budget for numerous, numerous hours, there is very, very, very little fat. Uh, there's a whole lot of lean in there. There's not a whole lot of room to cut. We've cut and we've made cuts and we've made more cuts. We're trying to make this city operational. And to do that, we've had to make sacrifices. Uh, there's comments about cell phones. Cell phones, when I took office, were an issue. We tackled and we've uh, readjusted and reevaluated our cell phone usage and, and took away phones that didn't need to be in place. Um, and we trimmed uh, the cell phone budget by half, I believe. So. Uh, we're now currently we're looking at landlines and we're going to trim that budget by more than half. Uh, we've evaluated everywhere we think that there is a cost savings. We are pushing to make those cost saving measures. 